Hey guys, I have something very interesting for you. Very, very important also. Let me set you up here so I can give a demonstration. I think, yeah, that looks like it'll work. Yeah, uh, I would even say critically important. I want to teach you, I want to demonstrate a little screen, a little assessment you can do that's going to hone in specifically on your strength, your mobility, and stability. Those three big ones, strength, mobility, stability, they comprise all other movements that we have to do, whether that be getting out of bed, uh, carrying grocery bags, uh, for higher level activities, golf, tennis, pickleball, of course, we need those big three in order to be able to efficiently and effectively move throughout the day and, and again, enjoy those other types of higher end activities. It is called the elevator test, and I call it the elevator test because it literally takes that long. If you got in an elevator, went up a couple floors, you could, within that time, you could complete this test, and that's all the room you need also. This may be a little larger elevator, but basically you just need a small amount of room and a little bit of time, and this is gonna give you tremendous feedback. Let me give you a demonstration here. If, um, if you have any medical conditions or you're in pain, please do not attempt this. But for everyone else, give this a shot. Again, it's gonna give you a lot of very important feedback. The first part is you wanna squat. I want you to squat down like you're sitting on a low stool as far as you can go down and pause. Then from there, I want you to walk your hands out in front of you and your feet behind you. So you're in a push-up position, then slowly lower your body down to the floor and pause. Then I want you to roll over onto your back, roll onto the back and pause. Then I want you to sit up with your legs straight. So we're going to come right up, legs straight, pause, and then from there we're going to turn. We're going to get up on all fours, so you're on your hands and knees. Pause again. And finally, I want you to sit up so your back is straight. You're still on your knees. Back is straight. Advance the leg forward. Push off it and stand up. And there it is. That's it. That is the elevator test. Again, it's very, very effective because it's... it's it's going to assess those big three pillars, strength, mobility, and stability. And if you are not able to do a portion of the elevator test, or if you're not able to do any of it, that is a big red glaring flag, a big red neon sign blinking, telling you that you have a deficit in your movement. And for active seniors, I know you want to keep doing, going and enjoy all the passions, passions of life that you have, whether that be tennis, golf, pickleball, cycling, whatever it is, we need to correct these deficits. And, and even taking this a step further, even more importantly, as we get older, as we advance, we, we want to be moving as effectively, as efficiently as possible because if we don't, it's going to sneak up on us and it's going to slowly start pulling away quality of life from us. And again, as active seniors, I know, I know you want to keep going and enjoying life to the fullest. We want to thrive as we move forward. So this elevator test is a great way of showing you if you have a deficit. And if you do, again, if you cannot complete this, then you have to address it now. As an active senior, as time goes by, unfortunately, it's going to get more and more difficult to correct a movement deficit, whether that be strength, mobility, or stability, or all three of those. So we want to be proactive. We want to get right on top of this. If you cannot do the elevator test, again, it is telling you, it is telling you, that something, there is a deficit present and we need to correct it now. And there is so much you can do in, in, in terms of correcting it. And I'm going to make more videos showing you how you can correct if you do have a, a deficit in strength, stability, or, in, or mobility. So please try this. 
I would even say try this on a weekly basis. It is that important. Just like you, you monitor your blood pressure, your heart rate, your glucose, your sugar level, your movement is that important because if we start to lose movement, we become so much more susceptible to, to chronic diseases, to chronic pain, to falls. I'm talking about heart disease, cancer, even um, cognitive deficits, dementia. It's all linked to movement. Movement can have that big of an influence on it. So that is why I'm hammering home this point. If you fail this elevator test, you have to get on it immediately. So please give it a try. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I, I hope that gives you some valuable feedback so you can start moving forward with this. Thanks for watching and I will be back for more videos.